thank you so much for tuning into Jimra. Go ahead and subscribe to get the latest notifications from me and Jimra. My name is Alexa Ortega and today we are going to be doing a 30 minute full body workout with Jimra. All you need are a pair of dumbbells and you are set. So we're going to go ahead and do some dynamic warm ups to warm the muscles up first. Go ahead and follow me. You want to bring that knee up and out. Let's open up those hip flexors and adductors. Yep. Let's do a couple more. Good. Let's go for two more. Up next, you're going to go ahead and touch the opposite foot with your opposite hand. Keep that chest nice and high. You should feel this in the back of your legs, your hamstrings. Now let's go for some small arm circles forward into big arm circles. And let's take it backwards. Small arm circles back into big arm circles. All righty, we are pretty much ready to start. So grab those dumbbells in a bent over position. We're going for bent over alternating rows. You want to make sure that you are not rounding your back. So engage those back muscles and your core and alternate the rows. Breathe through it. Also think about having your knees slightly bent. Almost there. Keep it up. We're here for 45 seconds and then we're going for 15 seconds of rest. Hang in there. Practice breathing through each rep. It's what's really going to get you through the exercises. All right, we are done. We have 15 seconds rest. Up next, we're going we're gonna to go into a squat press. Okay, you want to use the power in your hips to drive it up over your head. Get ready. We're so recovering. You're going to hear that ding. And let's go. Squat press. You want to make sure that when you're driving the weights over your head, you're lengthening your arms. They're nice and straight. Squeeze those glutes at the top and breathe. This is one of my favorite exercises. It works not just your lower body, but your upper body. Gets the heart rate nice and high and breathe. Almost there. Stay with me. And relax for 15 seconds. Up next, you're going to want to get in a plank position, okay? You're going to pull the weight through your arms without shifting your hips. Get ready. And go ahead and get started. So pull the weight through your plank and you want to be as still as possible. So careful not to shift your hips. You want all of that tension in the core and just focus on breathing. You got this. Hang in there. Breathe. Almost there. Stay with me and relax. Next exercise we're going to do is a deadlift. So you want to engage that back. You're going to come down, feel that stretch in the hamstrings, slowly come up and do a mini hip thrust. So squeezing your glutes at the top and go ahead and get started. You want to try and keep the dumbbells as close to your body as possible. You'll feel that nice stretch in the back of your legs, your hamstrings. Stand up at the top. Nice, slow and controlled movements. Hang in there. We're almost there. 
I love these 15 second intervals. And go ahead and rest 15 seconds, the last exercise for this set. You're gonna go ahead and lunge and curl at the bottom. Okay, then we're gonna alternate legs, get ready. We'll start when we hear the ding. And go ahead and get started. Lunge, curl at the bottom, and alternate those legs. Feeling that nice burn in both the upper and lower body. You got this, stay with it, we're almost there. Keep on going till you hear that ding. Think about that nice rest coming up. And relax, round two. So we're starting off with a bent over row. Get ready. You want to think about keeping your neck looking down. So you want to keep it in neutral position with your spine. Get ready and go ahead and get started. So as you can see, my chest is parallel to the ground. Alternating both ways. And I'm gonna keep reminding you, breathe. Keep that core nice and tight. Doing great, stay with it, almost there. And go ahead and rest 15 seconds. So up next, we're going for the squat press. Okay, take that 15 seconds of rest. If you're like me, your heart rate is up in three, two, and one. Let's go. Squat press. Round two. Squeezing those glutes at the top. Make sure you're breathing through it. Not breathing is a great way to lose consciousness. So breathe. Almost there. And go ahead and rest 15 seconds. So you wanna get in a plank position this is where you're pulling the dumbbell through your plank this way. Get ready. We're about to start pretty soon. And go ahead and get started. Pulling that weight through the plank. Try not to shift those hips. Keep them nice and steady. It's just you and your breath. So focus on breathing. You got this. Stay with it, we're almost there. If you're shaking a little bit, that's totally fine. It's just all of your muscles working together to keep you stable. Keep it up. All right, that's rest, yes. Gotta love that rest. Up next, get ready. Deadlifts are coming up in five, four, three, Two, one, let's go. I love deadlifts. I love feeling that stretch in the hamstrings. Feels so good. So remember not to round your back, keep it engaged. Stand fully at the top and there's like a mini hip thrust at the top, hinging. You wanna feel this both in the back of your legs, your hamstrings and your glutes. Keep your neck in neutral position with your spine. 
Doing great, hang in there. Go ahead and relax, 15 seconds. All right, last exercise for this set. We're going for the lunge curl, so get ready. We're gonna alternate our legs in three, two, and one. Let's go. Last exercise for this set, then we're moving on to a brand new set. Feeling that burn in the legs and the biceps. Stay with me, we're almost there. There's our rest, so second set. First exercise. You're gonna go ahead and sit down, dumbbells together. You're gonna go into a tricep skull crusher and a press. Get ready, sitting upright. Skull crusher and to press. Make sure that your posture is nice and upright. Use that breath. Breathing's gonna be our best friend. It's gonna keep us able to do all of the reps. Hang in there. Almost there, guys and go ahead and rest. So, up next, we're gonna go ahead and stand up. We're gonna do a front squat. So, what you wanna do, keep the dumbbells up here and start squatting, let's go. We wanna load the weight at the front, squeeze your glutes at the top, that's it. Doing great. Hang in there, last 15 seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, up next, we're getting back down on the ground for a chest press. So you wanna lay down and all you're gonna do, you're gonna alternate those weights Work on that chest and triceps. And focus on your breathing. We're working our entire body today. All of the muscle groups. Stay with me. Doing great. Almost there. Really lock out those arms at the top, see how it's nice and straight. Hang in there and go ahead and rest. All right, up next, we're staying on the ground still. You wanna get into plank position. All you're gonna do, you're gonna twist up and open both ways, okay? Get ready and go ahead and get started. So you wanna twist, open, and switch to the other side. Take your time, really open up on each side. Open up that chest, open up that upper middle back and work on your core all at the same time. Almost there, guys. Stay with me. And go ahead and rest. Grab those weights. 
Up next, last exercise for the set, we're gonna go ahead and squat into a high pull, okay? Use that power in the hips, drive those weights up. That's it. Hang in there. Squeezing those glutes every time you stand up. We're almost there, 15 seconds. Five seconds. Stay with it. And go ahead and rest. So, second round, go ahead and sit down. Sitting nice and upright. Dumbbells together, get ready. We're gonna start with a tricep skull crusher into a press. All right, let's get started. Tricep skull crusher into a press. Breathe through it. Really feeling that burn in the arms. I'm loving it. Keep that posture nice and straight. Almost there. Breathe. All right, there's the bell, 15 second rest. Up next, we're gonna stand up. We're gonna go into front squats, so load the weight right up here. We got some company today. There's a seagull watching me. It's great. It's beautiful out. Get ready and get started. Front squats. Nice, slow, and controlled movement, okay? Get in touch with that breath. That's it. Hang in there. We're halfway there. Remember to squeeze those glutes at the top. Stand fully straight. Doing great. All right, we got one more. And go ahead and rest. Up next, you wanna lay back down. So we get to bring that heart rate back down again. Notice how we're bringing it up and down. Interval training, get ready for those chest presses. Starting with your arms locked out and go ahead and alternate. Every time you bring that weight back up, you're locking it out, keeping the arm nice and straight. That's it. Almost there, guys. Stay with it. Like I said, make sure you're breathing through each rep. And go ahead and rest. So, we're standing up in a little bit, not quite yet. Remember, it's the plank twist. So you wanna get started in a plank position. We're gonna twist open pretty soon. Get ready. And go ahead and get started. So twisting up and open. Opening up, opening up our upper and middle back. Breathe. with it. Nice twist open. Go ahead and rest. So we're ready to get back up. Get ready. Grab those dumbbells. Last exercise for the set. Then we're moving on again. So it never gets boring, right? We're going into squat. High pull. Get ready. 
And let's get started. Well, you want to get that nice squat depth in there. Drive it up and breathe. That's it. Yep. Stay with me. We're almost there. You got this. Fifteen seconds to go. So channel all that energy and use it in this workout. All right, coming, coming close to that rest in four, three, two, one. Go ahead and rest. So up next, we're gonna do a split squat. You only need one dumbbell. We're gonna, I'll let you know when to switch legs. Choose the leg that's gonna start. All you're gonna do you're gonna come down and back up, all right? Try and tap that knee to the ground every time and then come back up. Think of it as like a static lunge. This is called a split squat though. <sighs> Breathe. It's a gorgeous day out here. <sighs> Hang in there. This one looks pretty easy, but it's pretty challenging on those legs. Almost there, stay with it. And go ahead and rest, love the sound of that bell. Other side is next, so go ahead and switch that weight. Get in position, I'll let you know when to start. Enjoy that rest, it's gonna go by pretty quick. All right, let's get started. Other side. Keeping that chest nice and upright. Almost there, stick with it. And go ahead and rest. If you're like me, you're really feeling it. So we're gonna lay back down on the ground for some abs. Always gotta ab, always gotta add that ab workout. All you're gonna do, you're going for simple crunches, okay? Try and relax that neck. It's okay if you're not coming up super high. You'll feel the tension in your core. Anyways, breathe. Try and relax that neck. Easier said than done, but it's possible. Hang in there. Almost there, guys. Really feeling that burn in the core. And go ahead and relax. All right. We're gonna go ahead and stand up again. Time to bring that heart rate up, get those dumbbells ready. So the next move we're gonna do is gonna be a deadlift into a squat. All right, get ready. So deadlift, then you're gonna stand straight up into a squat. Take your time, quality over quantity every time. Doing great. Stay with me. Almost there. All right, up next, last exercise. All you're gonna do is standing up, we're doing an Arnold press. Starting from here, locking those arms out at the top. Last exercise for the set, we got one more round. 
Then we're gonna cool down, okay? My heart rate is really high, really feeling the burn. I'm feeling great. Hang in there, stay with me. So, we are almost there. We have 15 seconds left. Stay with me if you're feeling the burn, totally normal. We're working our entire body. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. You wanna rest for 15 seconds? Place one dumbbell down, guess what? We have one more round, then we're done. All right, you have some rest to look forward to, so get ready. Starting with the split squat. All right, you're only holding one dumbbell. We're almost there. You got this, finish strong. Like I said, if you can, try and tap that knee to the ground every time. You got this. Make sure you're breathing through each rep. So it's really gonna help you to keep going, especially when that lactic acid is building up and your heart rate's going up. Whew, almost there. Nice, there's that rest. Go ahead and switch sides, other leg. Get ready, get in position. We're close to being done, okay? Five seconds, get ready. Stay with me. Three, two, and one, let's go. I know our legs are feeling tired. Totally part of it. That's where we build our strength and mental toughness. So just stick with it. You got it, stay with it, almost there. Get a couple more reps in and relax. All right, so we're gonna lay back down, ab work. Time for those crunches and time to bring the heart rate back down. Get in position, we're starting in five seconds. And go ahead and get started. Breathing through those crunches. So, you wanna try and get those shoulder blades off the ground every single time. You got it. Hang in there, stay with me. Almost there, guys. We have 10 seconds. Feel that burn in the abs. And go ahead and rest. So, we're gonna stand up, back up. Spin the heart rate back up again. Grab those weights. Get ready for the deadlift into a squat. We are nearing the end. Go ahead and get started. Remember, what you want to do is get that squat depth and also engage the back so it's not rounded. Hinge at the top, breathing through each rep. Like I said before, nice slow and controlled movements. Quality over quantity. Hang in there, we're close. All right, there's that rest. So we have one last exercise and we're gonna cool down. We're almost there. So, Arnold press. You want your feet planted solid on the ground, okay? Stay with me. We're so close to being done. 
All right, last exercise, let's go. Dig deep, you wanna bring all the energy you have left, okay? You're strong, you got this. Breathing through it, lock those arms out at the top. Feeling that nice burn in the shoulders. And any time that you push a weight up over your head, you're also working your core to stabilize. Almost there. Last three, two, and one. All right, so that timer is gonna stop and we're gonna go ahead and cool down. So first things first, you wanna go ahead and lay on your back. We wanna go ahead and stretch out our glutes and hamstrings. So you wanna place one leg over the other, grab that back leg, relax that leg, it doesn't need to work. Pull that knee down towards you, feel that stretch right here. Ah, burns so good. Go ahead and switch sides, other side. Pull that leg down towards you, you got this. Ooh, feeling that nice stretch right here. All right, up next. You're gonna go ahead and sit up straight. You want those legs to be nice and straight. Point those toes and you're just gonna come down and stretch. Stay right here. All right, up next, go ahead and place that leg over the other and twist, open up that back. Go ahead and switch sides. Almost there, we have two more stretches. So you're gonna get in a lunge position. Make sure this front heel is forward. Lean into that stretch. Go ahead and twist in, open up. Good, all right, we're gonna go for the other leg. So right here, same thing. Push that heel forward, lean into that stretch. Now go ahead and twist in, open up that chest, upper middle back. All right, we're gonna stand up. Get your feet planted on the ground. You're gonna take a nice inhale up. Exhale out. Really great work today. Have an awesome day.